Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve another problem on volume of cubes and cuboids. It's quite an interesting one. Okay, so here's the question. An empty rectangular bathtub, 150 centimeters long, 60 centimeters wide, and 50 centimeters high is being filled with water from a tap at a rate of 30 liters per minute. The tap is turned off after 12 minutes. Water is then drained out of the tub at a rate of 18 liters per minute. What would be the drop in the water level measured in centimeters six minutes later? Okay, quite a mouthful that one is, but uh, let's see, it's uh, not that tough. Okay, so here we go. Here's a visual. That's the empty rectangular bathtub. And the length of this bathtub is 150 centimeters. So let's write that down. This is 150 centimeters. The width is 60 centimeters. Okay. And the height from here to here, okay, is 50 centimeters. All right. So that's done. Now let's see what happens in the story. First of all, it is being filled with water at a rate of 30 liters per minute for 12 minutes. Okay. So we turn on this tap. There is water going from this tab into the bathtub and the tap is turned on for 12 minutes so let's assume that uh, you know here is the level of water in the bathtub after 12 minutes okay so we mark that here by the blue line okay all right now let's fill up some water in here so this is the water in the tub. Okay, next, what happens in the story is water is then drained out of the tub at a rate of 18 liters per minute. So water is drained out of the tub, okay? So the tap is turned off after 12 minutes, right? And the drainage is turned on. So this guy is turned on, okay? The cap from the drainage is removed and water is now flowing out or draining out of this tub at a rate of 18 liters per minute. And then it is drained out for six minutes, right? So the water level after six minutes is obviously now below this solid blue line. So let's assume that water is now somewhere at this height. Okay, now let's draw that by another line. Let's see this one. Okay, and since the drainage is also turned off because we're talking about drainage only for six minutes, we turn off the drain, okay? All right, now the water has dropped to this level, so let's remove some of the water from here, okay? So we remove some of the water from here. I'm doing all the visuals before I even start calculating just so we understand how things are working, okay? So here is the drop in the water level. We remove all the extra water. All right, so all our visuals are in place now. Just one more thing. Let's uh, make this line dotted, the top blue line, because that was the water level at first, right? Okay, so we make that dotted, right? Just to show that this is old story, okay? Okay, now let's do a recap of what happened. So there was an empty rectangular container that was filled with water for 12 minutes at a rate of 30 liters per minute. And this is how high the water level was at first, okay, at the end of 12 minutes. Then the tab that was being used to fill up water in the tub was turned off and the drainage was turned on for six minutes. And for six minutes, water was drained out at a rate of 18 liters per minute from the tub. So the new height of water level was this. Now what we have to find out in this problem is the drop in the water level. Okay, which means we have to find out the difference between 
these two heights. Okay, to find out the difference, what we have to find out first is obviously this height, the height at which the water level was when the tap was turned on for 12 minutes and the height of the water level at which the water was at the end of six minutes of drainage. Okay, so when we have found out these two heights, we will have known the drop in the water level. Okay, so how do we go about solving this problem? Let's see. So let's first find out how much water was actually filled into the tub. So when the tap was turned on, the rate at which water was filled into the tub was 30 liters per minute, which means that in one minute, there were 30 liters of water in the tub. Then obviously in 12 minutes, the amount of water or the volume of water into the tub would be how much? Well, in 12 minutes, it will be 12 times 30, right? So 12 times 30, which is equal to 360 liters. Well, 360 liters we know is equal to 360,000 centimeter cube or cubic centimeters. Now I want to change this to cubic centimeters because the other numbers that we have are in centimeters, all of them, right? So 360 liters is 360,000 cubic centimeters because one liter is a thousand cubic centimeters. All right, so that's done. That's the volume of water when the tap was turned on and water was filled into the tub for 12 minutes at a rate of 30 liters per minute. Okay, so the volume of water in the tub until the dotted blue line is how much your 360,000 cubic centimeter is. Okay, now how do we calculate the height of the water level? Quite simple. You know what? We know that the formula for volume of cuboid is the length of the cuboid times its breadth times its height. Now, in the case of volume of water, okay, that would mean the length of the tank times its breadth times the height of the water level, right? Now, we say the height of water level because as the volume of water changes in this tub, this height increases or decreases accordingly, right? If the volume of water increases, this height increases, the height of water level, it increases. And as the volume of water decreases, this height of water level decreases, right? So what we take into consideration is not the height of the tank, but the height of water level, okay? Because it's not the maximum volume or the capacity of the tank we're talking about, but it's the volume of water in the tub that we're talking about, okay? So we got to take the height of the water level. All right, so the length, that's 150 centimeters, and the breadth, that's 60 centimeters, and the height, well, we have to find that out. All right, now we know that all this is equal to 360,000 cubic centimeters. Now from here, can we find out the height of water level? Well, quite easy. All we do is to find out the height. We divide the volume, which is 360,000 cubic centimeters, by the base area, because the base area doesn't change, right? Regardless of what the volume of water in the tub is, this is always going to be 150 times 60, the length times the breadth. Okay, so 360,000 divided by 150 times 60. What is that? Let's uh, do some simplification here. So we have 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 3,600 divided by 6 is 6. Zero, zero, 600. Now let's divide this by 15, we get 1, and 600 by 15, we get 40. So there you go. The height of water level at first was 40 centimeters. So this over here, the top level marked by the dotted blue line over here is 40 centimeters. All right, so that's easy, that's done. Now how about this height marked by the solid blue line? Let's see, let's make some room here first. So in one minute, water drain out of the tub was 18 liters. So one minute means 18 liters out of the tub. So then in six minutes, how much water was drained out? Well, in six minutes, six times 18 liters were drained out, right? And six times 18, what is that? Well, five times 18 is 90 and plus another 18 is 108. 
So in six minutes, 108 liters were drained out of the tub, which means the difference in the volumes between this dotted line and this solid line over here, okay? So this dotted line and this solid line, the difference in volume is 108 liters. Well, if that is 108 liters, then what is the amount of water left in the tub? Well, the amount of water left in the tub, which is marked by this blue shaded part over here, is obviously the difference between the two volumes, right? Now, we know that there was 360 liters of water in the tub before we just calculated that. And there was 108 liters drained out of the tub. So then 360 minus 108, which is equal to 252 liters, is how much water is left in the tub, right? Now, this volume will help us find out this height. We plug that into the formula that we know. Volume, which is 252 liters or 252,000 cubic centimeters is equal to the length, which is 150, times the breadth, which is 60, times the new height, okay, the new height of water level, which is this. Now, again, just like before, all we do is to find out the height, we divide 252,000 cubic centimeters by the base area, which is still the same, 150 times 60, and we do some simplifications here. Okay, let's see. 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 2,520 divided by 6, well, what's that? So 4, 1 here, that's 2, 420. Now 15 divided by 15 is 1, and 420 divided by 15, well, that's 2. 12 carried over here, 120 divided by 15, that's 8. All right, so this height is equal to 28 centimeters which means that this height now is 28 centimeter so now water is at a height of 28 centimeters in the tub all right now what have we got to find out we have to find out the drop in the water level and by the drop we mean the difference in the two heights that's quite simple all you got to do is do 40 minus 28 okay now what is 40 minus 28 well 40 minus 28 is quite simple it's just 12 so 40 minus 28 is 12, 12 centimeters. So this difference, this drop in the water level is 12 centimeters. And that's the answer to this word problem. All right, so here's what we did. We found out the volumes of water. Okay, the two volumes, the volume at first when the tap was turned on for 12 minutes and the volume next after the drain was turned on for six minutes we found out those two volumes using the rate that we were given okay the rates of flow of water and then using those volumes we calculated the height of water level okay the height at first was 40 centimeters the height next was 28 centimeters then the drop in the water level would be the difference of those two heights and that's equal to 12 centimeters and that's the answer to this word problem all right i hope uh, you got what i taught and now please do go practice similar word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect this is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.